So right now you're getting ready for either nursing school, PA school, or med school. You're trying to figure out what can I do before I get into the real heart of school. Let me explain to you why, and here's my pitch for EMT as an option. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach and I'm back here with another video. Inside this video, we're gonna be talking about the simple steps you can take to become an EMT and get your healthcare experience for pre-nursing, pre-PA, and finally, uh, pre-med school. If you're new here, be sure to like, subscribe. What do we do to get our hours in? What do we do to get experience before we go? The, my pitch here for EMT is a few things. The first thing is the hours of operation. Now what I mean by the hours of operation is EMS is 24 seven, okay? Not all career paths that you can take as far as getting knowledge of healthcare before you enter nursing school, PA school, med school, not all those careers are 24 seven inside of healthcare, okay? Right, if you're working in a doctor's office, it's nine to five, right? If you're working in a surgery center, it's nine to five, right? So you wanna think about that. EMS may actually work very well with your lifestyle. Not a large barrier to entry for you. So what I mean by that is the EMT program is usually about a three to four month program and you have to pass your boards. So in a matter of a few months, you can become a certified EMT and in most areas, all you'll need is your high school diploma. You're already in college getting ready for you know, nursing, PA or med school. You're on the right track. So you get into EMT school, it's three months, you can even do it over the summertime, knock it out, and by the end of the summer, you have your EMT, now you have a job while you're, while you're actually in school, and it's a flexible job because, damn, a lot of these private EMS companies, well, they need people to man odd hours because EMS is 24-7. So maybe you have class at night, you can work in the day. Maybe you do an early shift, maybe it's vice versa. Maybe you have school during the day, you do a night shift, and you can work around your schedule. It's not like a traditional, oh, you have to work these hours. You can choose your hours as a part-time EMT. So I really can't recommend it enough just for that alone. With EMT, you're gonna, there's gonna be situations where you're gonna actually be in charge of patient care with nobody else there. So let's say it's you and your EMT partner on an ambulance, you show up to a critical patient you're gonna get to see what it feels like to be in charge of patient care with no one else there. The, let's, maybe the medic can't show up. Maybe the medic's in a fly car and you have to take care of that patient until you intercept. Maybe a patient decomps right in front of you when it was a normal BLS call. You're gonna be in charge of that patient. Maybe you're on scene first. There's gonna be many, many times where you're in charge of patient care where in other professions, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna have an RN there, always there near you, right? You're gonna have a, a supervisor always there near you. If you're in a pharmacy, the pharmacist is there near you. You're not gonna ha be fully in charge of patient care, like if you're planning for nursing, PA or, M or MD, like EMT. The other thing is, you're gonna get a real taste of medicine. You're gonna get to see everybody. You're gonna, you're gonna get to talk to paramedics who are ACLS and PALS providers. You're gonna get to talk to nurses when you give a report in hospital. Talk to PAs and nurse practitioners in hospital. You're gonna get to see all types of patients. Also meet doctors as well. If you're doing interfacility transport, you're gonna be on the hospital floors. You're gonna get to see in the inside of all these things, but you're gonna get to see people in all scenarios. Think about it. If you do a 911 call, you're getting a taste of emergency medicine. If you do an inner facility transport, then you're getting an inside look at the hospital, but also you're going to the patient's homes, okay? So you're getting to do that little home care, little, little, little touch as well. You're getting to see, oh wow, I'm in the home, right? So you're getting to touch a lot of different things. And the beauty of emergency medicine is it touches on a little bit. You're gonna get your cardiology, your, your neurology. You're gonna get your uh, little bit of pharmacology. You're gonna get these, to really administer medications to people as well. So it's a lot of stuff packed into three months with a good high degree of responsibility for patient care. And that's why I can't recommend it 
highly enough. And, and finally, if you're watching this video and you're preparing for EMT school, and hey, you want to make the process as easy as you can, I'm going to put a link in the description down below to my paramedic coach course with the National Boards Accelerator, the National Registry Accelerator. So what that is, it's a program that helps prepare you for school, helps you while you're in school pass on easy mode, and as well helps you pass your boards. I have all the board curriculum in fun, simple videos and audio lessons. So if you want to learn about that, it's a one-time payment, lifetime access, click down below to get on that. It also includes a private members only community. So you can ask me in the group anything you want about EMS and I'll get right back to you. So the link's down below and everyone, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these, all these, you know, links inside my brain. And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it.